Okay, hello fifth grade. Today is day 47, I believe, of our video lessons. I hope you're all doing well and staying safe and staying healthy. Um, just a quick reminder, please be sure that you're completing all your seesaw activities. Again, go to your name, go to the uh, our, our fifth grade class for my class, and then go to the activities and then complete any activities that you need to complete, okay? Um, also make sure that all your studies weekly tests are complete. And um, and yeah, just make sure that they're complete. All right, this is your warm up. Go ahead and pause the video and get started. All right, so today we're gonna be getting a lot of practice on how to switch fractions into decimals and decimals into fractions. Number one says change 1.28 as a fraction, okay? So one thing you have to look at first is if you have a whole number. Do you have a whole number? Yes, one. One. And then what I like to do is I like to look at the place value that my numbers are in. So I have a tenth, and then I have hundredth, right? Well, because I have a hundredth, that means I'm gonna have 28 hundredth. Right, and so that's my answer, one whole and 28 hundredth. Now, next one, change one whole and two tenth into a decimal. Well, now we're doing, now we're going the opposite way. Again, check if you have a whole number. I have one. And then my fraction is two tenths. That means I only have a tenth. So it was 1.2. Okay. So today we're going to be getting a lot, a lot of practice switching between a fraction into a decimal and then a decimal into a fraction, okay? So, let me go ahead and erase this and then we'll get started, all right? You have a lot of examples that you're gonna have to go through. So let's go ahead and just start. Let's go ahead and just dive right in. So let's say that I have, we'll start off switching fractions into decimals, all right? Okay, so let's say that I have, let's start off easy. Let's say that I have 6 tenths, all right? Well, do I have, do I have a whole number? No, I do not. So I'm gonna go ahead and start off with a zero and a decimal, zero point, okay? Now, you look at your denominator. What does your denominator say? Tenth, right? This is a tenth. So because you have a tenth, that means that your six is going to have to be the tenth, right? You have six tenth, six tenth. And then if you take a look at here, well, you have, if you make a place value chart, you have your ones, and then you have your tenths. See? Let's go ahead and do another one. Let's say that I have three tenths. Do you have a that? Do you have a whole number? No. So we put a zero. Now, your three is in what place value? The tenth. So then it has to be zero point three. Okay. Let's go ahead and do another one. Let's move on to our hundredths. Let's move on to our hundredths. Let's say that I have 41 hundredths. Again, first thing you should look at is do you have a whole number? No, it's a zero, right? So then you have what? You have 41 hundredths. So you have to make sure that your place value, if anything, let's go ahead and start off with a place value Right, you have your ones here, your tenth, and then you have a hundredth. You have no whole number, so zero. And then you have this number that's going to have to go all the way to the hundredth, okay? 0 0.41. All right. Let's go ahead and do another one. Let's say that I had um, 91 hundredth.
All right, let's make a place value chart again. Do I have a whole number? No, so zero. And then I have 91 hundredths. So I know I'm gonna have to make a place value. My number's gonna have to go all the way to the hundredths. So my answer is 0 0.91, okay? Let's go ahead and do some more. But now let's include some whole numbers into here. Right, let's include some whole numbers. All right, so let's say that I had um, two holes and three tenths. One thing that I think helps me is just saying the number out loud. If I have two holes, that means I have two and a decimal. Two holes and three tenths, so then my three is going to have to go in my tenth place, 2.3. Right? Let's go ahead and do another one now. Let's go ahead and do five hundredths. Now, how is that one going to look like? Hmm. Again, let's make a place value chart. I have my ones, my tens, and my hundreds. Now, again, take a look at your denominator. Your denominator tells you where your number should go. You have five hundredths. So that means you don't have any ones, first of all. You don't have any whole numbers. And your five is gonna have to go into hundreds place, five hundredths. So it goes right there. And that means that you don't have anything in your tenth. You do not have anything, it's another zero. So your answer is 0 0.05. Okay, let's go ahead and do another one. Let's see that I had um, two. Hundreds. Do you have a whole number? Do you have a ones? No. Do you have a tenth? No. Because it's telling me that my two is going to go in my hundredth. Right? So my two here is in my hundredth place. Right? Right there. Let's go ahead and do uh, four holes and one hundredths. How's that gonna look like? Well, this time I do have a whole number of four, four point one over one hundred. Again, my one's gonna go in my one hundred, so that means I have nothing in my tenth place, and then I have my one in my hundredths right there, okay? Now again, let's keep doing different ones now and again the reason that we're going over this is because it's very important in order for you to learn how to multiply fractions okay all right so let's say that I had 105 over 100 now See how's that's gonna how is that gonna look like? Well this one we have to think about it a little bit more critically. We have to think about it a little bit more carefully. I have a hundred and five hundredths. And you know what? Let's make a place value chart. My ones, my one tenths. And my one hundredths. Okay. Again, you have a hundred and five hundredths. One hundred and five hundredths. So then that means you're going to start writing out the number in your hundredths. So my five is going to go here. My zero is going to go here. And my one's going to go there. So this one's kind of tricky, right? Because even though it looks like you don't have a whole number, when you start writing it in your place value chart, 
you start to see that you actually do, right? You have 105 hundredths. So then your five goes in your hundredths place. You don't have anything in your 10. And then you have something in your ones. Now, let me prove to you this is correct as well. Because let's say that I had a hundred over 105, right? Right, let's, let's use a division tactic. Because again, remember, fractions are like division problems. How many times does 100 go into 105? Just once. 100 times 1, 100. 5 minus 0, 0. I mean, 5, 0, 0. I don't have a number to drop. 100 cannot go into 5, so I'm done. So my answer is 1, 5 hundredths. Right? And one five hundredths is the same as this. You see? I think that's pretty cool. We have one whole five hundredths. These two numbers are the same right here. This one in purple and then this one in orange are the same. Except one is an improper fraction and one is a mixed number. Okay? This one's an improper fraction. My numerator is greater than my denominator. Then this one is a mixed number, right? I have a whole number, one, and then I have five hundredths, okay? These two are the same, and this decimal is the same for both of them, okay? Same thing. These two are the same, these two are the same, all right? Okay. Uh, let's go ahead and do another example like this one, and then we'll move on starting off with decimals. All right, so let's see that I had, uh, let's see, 67 tenths. Again, notice right away that you have an improper fraction, right? Your numerator is greater than your denominator. But our method that we're going to use is the same thing. We're going to have our ones, tenth, and our hundredth. Okay, so start off with your tenth, right? Start off with your tenth. You have seven, then you have your six. So this is your answer, 6.7, okay? Now I know what you, what, what you might be thinking is since I say start off with your tenth, does that mean that I have to go like this, six, seven? No, what's wrong with this? Well, for this one, you have a seven in your hundredth. And my denominator is not a hundredth, it's a 10. It's a 10, right? So I know that it cannot be like this. That's how you know this is wrong. Look at your place value chart. Your first digit, your seven, should start off at wherever your denominator tells you. So you have seven, tenth, seven is my tenth, and then my six just follows, 6.7, right? And again, Let's use our division tactic, our division method, so we can just double check, right? How many times does 10 go into 67? Six times. 10 times 6, 60. I have no number to drop. 10 does not go into 7, so I'm finished. So my answer is 6 holes and 7 tenths. Right? And look, you see? Same thing. That one makes a little bit more sense, right? Well, that's how we do it. Okay. Now let's go the other way. Let's start off with a decimal, and then let's switch it into a fraction, okay? Alright, so... Let's say that we started off with um, 1.2. Well, since you have a whole number, right? 
then that's going to be your whole number right there, 1. What place value is your 2 in? It's in my 10th place, right? So I have 2 tenths, and that's it. I think going from a decimal to a fraction is easier than going from a fraction to a decimal, okay? But that's just me. Maybe you think the other way it's easier. But that's okay. Anyway, it's fine. Let's say that I had uh, 2.8. How can we switch that? Well, do I have a whole number? Yes. 2. 2. 8 is in my 10th place, so I have 8 tenths, right? If I were to make a place value chart, I have 1s, I have my 10s, so my 8 is in my 10th place, so then it has to be 2.2 and a tenth, okay? Let's say that I had 1.08 now. Well, again, I have a whole number, which is 1. What well, place value is my 8th in? It's in my hundredths, right? So then that means I have to have 8 hundredths. All right, let's go ahead and do a larger number this time. Let's say that I have 38.31. Well, that means I have 38 right i have 38 as a whole number and what about my 31 though well that is in my hundreds place right my first number is in my hundreds place so i have 31 hundreds okay let's do one more let's say that i had 25.04 Again, 25 is my whole number. 4 is in my hundredths place, so I have 4 hundredths. All right, and that's it. I'm finished. Uh, let's just do one more, actually, and then we'll be done. Let's say that I had 74 point... Or, yeah, 74.6. Well, 74 is my whole number. Seventy four is my whole number here. My six is in my tenth place, so I have seventy four and six tenths. Okay? And that's it. So that's what you're gonna be doing uh today. Okay, let me just show you. Alright, so you're going to be working on four pages, okay, and it's these four. This one, that one, that one, and that one, okay? That's what you're going to be working on for your math. And then for science, we are on this week, right, Shaping the Earth, week 21. I included some on Seesaw, some pre-test questions. So you will take your test um, sometime this week, tomorrow maybe. And so I just want you to answer these questions, okay? These questions will get you prepared for your exam, okay? So you go ahead and write it right here. Or you can write it on a piece of paper, all right? Um, but that's what you're going to be doing. So go ahead and please finish it. And these are your two assignments, all right? Your math worksheets, and then your pre-test questions for week 21, all right? Um, that's it. Have a great day.